look, I've been awake all night, okay? I've been working. Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome to what will be the final tour of the Underworld server. We're here at Apathy's base, Apathy and Spice's base, and I've already come across something that is quite concerning. This... what the... what the hell's going on here? Is this real? Have they really stuck my head on... in, in a cockpit with Yoda? And they've put me on some sort of character over there as well. Oh, God. You, you can't leave these players bloody alone, can you? Leave them there for 10 seconds and they're already sticking your head on strange characters. So it looks like... Is that Obi-Wan I'm stuck on there? <laughs> oh, what a bloody mess. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, they give me like a little permy wig on the right side of that. Oh, you know what? 10 out of 10 for creativity on this, but I keep seeing a lot of this on the server. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they keep bloody adding their faces to pictures. So going down here anyway, they've got themselves a lovely red ship. Up front, it looks like it's almost from rocket launchers. It's got no cockpit at the current moment in time at the front, but maybe it's hidden elsewhere. Down here, we've got a smaller version of that red ship. There's also that little substation. We've, we've seen part of this base before. And when we're re-looking at it like this again, it's important to try to work out what the new additions to it. Oh, look at this thing. It's almost like an arc inside there. There's, there's a big door up at the front. It's got these nice sloped ramps either side. The atmospheric thrusters are in there. What's going on inside here? It looks like, oh, just a small little fighter. What's going on in the back? So we've got ourselves a reactor room in there with some hydrogen thrusters. One little ship aboard. Maybe this is going to be some sort of carrier. Now, they've also laid out a very nice hangar bay down here as well, so it's got pretty much everything you'll need from your miners to your small support ships, and Apathy's also been working on some of these little rocket-type carrier crafts, so I don't think this is one of them, this is just one of the standard-type fighters, and these are some more of the smaller ones. Here are some of the rocket slash bombing craft, so these have got these cool little bombs that have been built on the back there that can be de deployed, basically inertia-based weapons, very cool indeed, and also there's this one that's not currently loaded up with missiles, as we were doing some testing with it before. But these little uh, merge blocks can hold missiles, bombs, whatever you want, and you can launch them at a target with, with debatable accuracy. A really nice base. I wish they would have just had a little bit more time in the Underworld server to actually finish this thing off. So you can see down here in this next section, they've actually built themselves a lab, and I'm sure Spice would have continued developing this further and built some other areas as well. Anyway, let's continue to the next outpost. So now we're at the GBU outpost. The GBU outpost has changed considerably a lot due to the game itself and them having to relocate. But there is some quite cool ships down here. We've got ourselves a grinder ship, a drilling ship, definitely probably belonging to Conrad there. And up here we've got what I thought was a medical vessel. It's this white ship, but the only thing this is going to be delivering is a bloody hot missile to you because behind them doors you can see them right here are actual missile turrets there's also a really nice cockpit there and there's more missiles at the front there's, there's going to be a lot of firepower coming out of that thing a really nice design so there's also another two ships parked here this one with these little antennas we've seen this do a lot of fighting on the server already and this one that's definitely done some fighting because there's some holes there's some damage we, we saw it earlier though it had the capacity to carry one or two ships into battle and could also be docked with if you needed refuel with hydrogen but yeah that needs reworking there's definitely some things that need fixing aboard the ship anyway let's continue on so here we're at the mdk base now this is a right vast variety of ships now i believe a lot of other factions have joined arms with mdk ready for the final event and as we look around here you can see that we've got ships up down top bottom every single corner of the screen as well as some really weird places around this base so we've got ourselves a little grinder type vessel down there for grinding things down we've got behind that what i can only imagine is maybe a projector vessel something that they can connect up and project around one of another one of husker's ships we see a lot of these being reconstructed put a light on so you can see a little bit better and they have the little missile turrets here at the front if we continue working our way through, we've got this lovely little golden ship and another little transporter, a few little fighters docked down there. Now, looking at this initially, I'm guessing this is some sort of hydrogen docking craft because it's got these little pads 
where you could dock for hydrogen on this side. Yeah, there we go. There's the hydrogen tank. So I'm guessing it's some sort of transport ship with the supplies and equipment that this faction would need for battle. Another cool ship taking design though here as well. A few unfinished designs, but hopefully they'll get these finished before the final battle. Now what I really liked about this outpost is how they've laid it out. If we actually bring the camera up here in a second, you can see that we've got the H2, we've got the P1, the P2, P3. So we've got the pads and we've got an ice dock. So it's been laid out so you know where to drop the ice off and you know where to drop the hydrogen off. So it can be very efficient. On the H2 pad, we've got one of Void ships here. Now Void ships have followed a similar design to the Defender if you've seen that in the past. But the idea behind these is these little thruster based weapons. Lots of glass being used. The small ship glass so you can see inside. See how it works. On the original Defender, these glass blocks get welded up. But on this one, it doesn't work like that. So these are the little torpedoes that we've got here. Just basic control. You can see we've got the iron thrusters on the back, iron on the side, and a battery to power it. And I'm guessing that there's going to be some warheads in there to do a little bit of destruction. It'll be interesting to see just how well that functions. Now, continuing up here, we actually have a little base off in the distance. I believe this is bl the, the remains of ONI. They've consolidated together, they've got themselves their standard frigate that we've seen fighting all over the underworld. Nice little configuration, white and purple, and we've got themselves a little miner. Maybe they're just grabbing some supplies or they're going to be helping MDK out, I'm honestly not too sure. There's also another ship of Huskers there painted white. So if we come back over in this section, we've got more of the MDK ships to go through. Down here we've got a little landing pad, and above it, what was there, a church? How come we got a church here? This is weird, some players have definitely got far too much spare time on their hands, but they've managed to build themselves a church down here in the underworld. I guess with all these creatures and weird things um, going about, I mean, it might be something you have to turn to, but but yeah, still things are, some, still are being projected. Very unusual, unusual little craft. So we've also got their big refueling and supply ship going on up here. It looks like it's been in a little bit of battle as well, but from the smoke there and one of the hydrogen tanks, unless they've just bumped it. But this ship will refuel and keep their ships in action for longer. So when they're out in the field, almost like a mobile respawn tanker. Another one of Husker's ships here with a nice blue engine bay. And we've got some more of their frigates down here. We've seen a few little fights of these guys and they're pretty tough. Off, they can hold it up, especially with their missile launchers that they've got locked in there. Hang on, what's this? Another church? Are the players going absolutely crazy? This one looks a little bit more clanging juice, though, with this black sort of layout. Look at that. It looks pretty cool, though, at the same time. So we'll, we'll go inside and dare to see what happens. Oh, bloody hell. Really? What have they got on this sign as well? <sighs> What are, the, what are the player base up to, eh? Sticking my head on every single popular picture that you see. Oh, I mean, I do kind of suit the blonde curls, though. But anyway, besides the point, what we got around the back here? We've got the, oh, of course, fun music on a sensor. Very nicely built. <laughs> very, very stupid. But fun. I like the little weird spire thing going up on the top there. Oh, respect for that. Spending a little bit extra time to just, just to go crazy. Going back over here now, you can see we've toured the majority of the MDK base. They've got a lot of firepower here. I would be rather worried. Inside their production hub, it's very organized. They've actually color-coded all the internals. Well, we'll go for a quick glance inside. We'll, I'll quickly show you what they've done here. So you can see they've color-coded this area red. They've color-coded the other some areas black. And I'm guessing this depends on the cargo that they're transferring between the items. And of course, they've got their processors and assembler system in here processing away and building as much as possible. Very, very nice indeed. Anyway, let's continue on to the next outpost. So these guys have been on the run. They've been on the run for quite a while. Um, after a certain base incident, you can see what we've got going on here is they've built themselves a mobile base out of what's been left. They've got themselves some miners, some ships that look like they've been damaged in trying to escape the threat themselves, and there's a few little frigates about. So this faction do have enough to defend themselves and make an impact on the final event. There's a nice little fire up there. They've also got a squid, I think. Yeah, they've got themselves a nice little squid and some sort of weird ship attached to it. It looks like they're welding something up as well. I quite like the idea of a few of these ships. Really nice, compact designs. What's this down here under here? That's that. Now that looks cool. I think I've seen that somewhere before. 
And this one has these round sort of pods on either side. So I don't even know if that's just like a small storage transport ship or something. Because it doesn't seem to have any weapons on there. It could just be used for shuffling supplies around the base. So that's their little mobile HQ they're working on. It looks like they're also working on a fighter on top. Or maybe that's just how they weld up the sort of frigates as they're building them. Another rocket ship at the back there. It's going to be interesting to see if these guys can pull anything together at the last minute. So moving on, a lot of you guys asked about the Atlantis style fish ship that you saw in the last video. Um, is it still ticking about? Yes, of course it is. It's hidden in one of the many catacombs within the underworld and the players themselves look like they're working on a few more ships. It, it does look like it's been untouched for a while. What have we got going on inside there? Uh, we got some interesting big posters. Players love adding these posters to the ships. I, I know it kind of brings it alive. Let's have a look into the bridge. I've not actually toured this place. So we've got a disco, disco floor? Cryo chamber, med bay. Okay, these are all quite nicely laid out. You've got these little catwalk segments. Now into the disco room. Okay, so this is the big orb at the front that you see. And of course, you've got a jukebox. But surprisingly, it's not with fun music. So going down a little bit lower, just another little bit of the ball. It doesn't look like the cockpit's actually up here. It looks like the cockpit may be located in the rear or maybe a different section of the craft. We'll see, we'll see what's, what's going on there. So every now and then we get a little bit of a stutter and that is just my computer trying to load all the stuff going on around it at once. Um, what's going on here? We have ourselves a hydrogen room. Interesting. And some real nice hangar base, some fabulous detail going on. Is this a rear sort of hangar section as well? Yeah, it looks like it was a drop down hangar and the oxygen room here at the back a really nice laid out ship i think it just looks beautiful probably one of my favorite ships actually on the underworld i know it's not super functional it's not got loads of missile launchers so it might not stand up in a fight but still a very cool design let's continue on we're going to be moving to one of the other factions bases now so now we're here we're actually down one of them i haven't seen too much there's there's a lot of construction going on down here you can see that they're actually reinforcing the main blast door with two layers of blast door steel and as we enter into the shaft you're going to see how organized this place is it is absolutely fantastic so we take a look down this left shaft here just look at this all the cargo all the ore is listed out People know where to stick things. I'm, I'm sure there's someone here that loves to be organized. If my life was this organized in all these containers and stuff, I'd, I'd be hitting you know, the stars already. So you can see there's, a, there's only one thing, though, that really buggered me. Do you see these little buttons here? It's so well laid out, but they haven't laid out all the car, car containers in the right configuration. You can see the buttons are now on the top in this section. Are they on the top on the other side, maybe? No, they're on the side. So whoever's done that, now you've realized it, hopefully it'll bug you for the rest of eternity. <laughs> that was a bit cruel. So in here, we've also got these kind of containers listed. One, two, three, four. I don't know if these are backup ones, but they've also color-coded the pipes. So there is a system going on here, and I do like a good system. Some shit being built there in the center. What's going on there? More color coordinated systems, a little bit of a blast door airlock to stop people from getting into the cargo supplies. And now we're back into the central shaft, crossing over, and we've got the refinery room. So this is not fully completed, and I know why. A lot of players have been building rapidly to try to get crafts and ships prepared for the final events. We've got a medical room in this area, or just a nice compact one, quite simple. Continuing down the shaft though, nicely lit, look at the blue and white colours and there's a little bit of a black catwalk going down the side. A lot of players have gone for shaft designs, I'm not too sure why, but it just really kind of give an underworld feeling, like a bunker, matrix. So here we've obviously not got as much completed, but they have got a few ships on stall as well as a spinny welder. That's, that's a risky road to go, but you know, you can do it. So over here we've got ourselves the stack of these fighters that they've been printing off, these blue ones. They've also got the little faction logo down here. Very nice indeed. Looks fabulous. We've got some rockets. What else we've got here? Some iron thrusters. A little bit of stutter. As well as I was loading some of the detail. A lot of this lighting is causing this. A lot of people who are playing on the server don't have this issue at all for some reason. My PC just seems to be a little bit plagued at the moment with space engineers. But continuing on. We've got ourselves a lovely looking, is it a large fighter? We've got the double thrusters, lots of little button pads going on in the back. Maybe just to add a little bit of lighting and dynamic to some of these designs. So coming over here, we've actually got ourselves, oh, what is this? Is this a miner? Some sort of mining ship. And then we've got like a, a wide boy type ship, heavily armored. We've got a little blue ship that looks unconstructed. And then we've got this larger white and great. Well, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, definitely a frigate. It's got the heavily armoured front end either for ramming or protection of the missile launchers. 
I do appreciate. Over there we've got another larger ship and with this one it looks like we've got a lot more interior turrets and we've also got some missile launchers. One more missile launcher than the other design. Let's go to the back of this cave and just turn the lights off for a second and really try to appreciate the atmosphere the underworld gives. Oh, that's a, that's a funky little logo. So we'll turn this off and we'll just have a look at what it's like here. So you can just imagine working in here with your welder. It'd be fantastic, really creepy, really cool and dark, and the underworld sounds. Anyway, let's continue on and wrap this video up. So to wrap this one up, I'd really like to thank my team and all the players who've been playing on the underworld server. These final events are going to be fantastic, and I can't wait for you to get stuck into them. Now, the final question I have for you is to jump into that comment section and tell us about your favorite base or ship you've seen in this video. These players are pouring their heart out into some of these builds and I'm sure they'd love to hear your feedback. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.